One of the oldest minivans on the market include the Toyota Sienna. While the minivan is not the most commonly used type of vehicle, Toyota still aimed to appeal to a large crowd with the release of its Toyota Sienna. Known for its good reviews, safety ratings, and comfortable interior, the Sienna is still an excellent choice for minivan lovers. A Toyota Sienna might be relatively inexpensive and easy to come by as various models have already been released. But like every other vehicle, the Toyota Sienna comes with its own set of commonly occurring problems that people have to deal with which can classify the vehicle as a lemon. There is a never-ending list of troubles with the Toyota Sienna's electrical system, steering, and other components. Do you know that you could receive a free settlement for the problems with your car? To find out if you are eligible, visit Lemon Law Assist right away or give us a call at 424-408-8060 for a free car evaluation. So let us discuss the most frequently reported issues of the Toyota Sienna. Number 1. Electrical Interface Problems The Toyota Sienna is supposed to be equipped with the latest technology and equipment, but sadly it needs a reliable electrical system. One owner of Sienna reported the problem he faced. As far as the rest of the technology is concerned, the best thing about the lane assist and lane keeping features of the Sienna is that they are easy to disable. Imagine someone cutting you off at 60 miles per hour, swerving to avoid hitting them, and having a safety feature steer you right back into an oncoming car because it didn't work reliably. I wish there were a way to turn it off for good. Even from the convenience side of things, Toyota is aware of such problems. It has issued a service bulletin which discusses several difficulties including phones, not auto-connecting, intermittent black screen, abnormal phone book sorting, inability to switch Bluetooth devices, and trouble with voice recognition. It's hard to feel safe when even the vehicle's basic systems won't even work correctly. Number 2. Suspension Problems Part of having a swagger is the ability to move in such a manner that causes others to notice. That's what the Toyota Sienna does, but not in a good way. A review by an owner of the Sienna states, Not happy with the way the Toyota Sienna drives, it is bumpy and I can feel when the shifts happen more than usual that the car buckles at times when shifting. My whole body shakes while driving, making the whole driving experience terrible. Wheels and rims are the part of what helps a vehicle run smoothly. However, Toyota talks about troubles on the front as well. A service bulletin issued by Toyota states that the chrome wheels might start bubbling or peeling. It's hard to be satisfied with the vehicle if the main components of the car are falling apart at the seams. Number 3. Steering Problems The primary purpose of a vehicle is to get you to places faster. For that, you would need the ability to steer the car. Well, tell that to the Toyota Sienna. A complaint filed on the NHTSA's website states, While driving on the highway, suddenly the engine light came on, and then soon after, I lost acceleration of the vehicle. When I pressed the gas pedal, no response came from the car. The vehicle was slowing down, so I pulled into a gas station. When I stopped the car, the engine light was still on. The traction light came on, and the steering system light also came on. The steering problems go even deeper, with there being a recall. The NHTSA campaign number... 19V532000 states that some Toyota Sienna vehicles had steering shaft extensions that weren't manufactured correctly. If these fracture, the driver could lose absolute control over the minivan, most likely causing an accident. If your Toyota Sienna has steering issues, don't worry. Lemon Law Assist is here to help. You just have to click the link in the description box to get a free review of your vehicle. Number 4. Faulty Electric Sliding Door Mechanism on RepairPal, one of the most common problems involved the Toyota Sienna sliding door. This problem is widespread and has been reported numerous times by various people. It was also reported more often than every other problem of the Toyota Sienna combined. Problems with the electric sliding door have been found in every model year of the Toyota Sienna. Most owners had problems because the cable inside the door frayed or completely broke down. Some owners had problems because the sliding door's electric motor had worn out. Because of that, once the electric door mechanism broke, the door would have to be opened manually. Some reviewers reported that the door wouldn't open after the cable or motor broke. Most reviewers also mentioned the extremely high price of the repairs. Many people quoted repair prices of around $1,500 from their Toyota dealer. Some owners were quoted prices of over $2,000. Still, these repairs only sometimes worked, and the problems would arise again. Several reviewers commented that even after fixing the electric door, it eventually broke down a second time. Number 5. Cracks on the Dashboard 
The next most commonly reported problem for the Toyota Sienna was the dashboard cracks. Many owners had reported large cracks forming throughout the dashboard. Many reviewers said these cracks looked like someone slashed the dashboard with a knife or a sharp object. Other Toyota and Lexus models from 2003 to 2011 had identical issues with them as well. The dashboard needed to be replaced to fix the problem, which could cost up to several thousand dollars. A few reviewers noted that the replacement dashboard is made of the same material as the original one, which caused the issue to arise again. Therefore, people had already expected the same cracks to happen again. Number 6. Faulty Oxygen Sensors Another commonly reported Toyota Sienna problem was the oxygen sensor, which seemed to fail after a few years. Most people didn't notice any problems with the vehicle, but were suspicious when the check engine light went off. While many sensors fail after the car went over 60,000 miles, several owners reported problems even under 25,000 miles. Number 7. Oil Leaks and Loss of Oil Pressure Another commonly reported problem involved the Toyota Sienna's oil line. This leak usually happened in older models of the Toyota Sienna. The leak required immediate attention because the vehicle would run out of oil and suffer complete engine failure, which could be bad for you if you're stuck in heavy traffic. In some models, the oil line unexpectedly burst. Many owners also reported that the oil leak happened without a warning light. If the oil leak occurred while driving, people noticed several warning lights go off right away. This leak caused the vehicle to lose its oil in just a few moments. Owners who had this problem were shocked at how much oil came out of this leak. Often the leak covered the engine of the vehicle with oil. Number 8. Faulty Evaporation Emission System A few owners of the Toyota Sienna mentioned problems regarding the vehicle's evaporative emission system. Some reviewers had the check engine light come on when there was a problem with the system. This usually happened because a canister of the vehicle needed to be replaced. Most owners reported the canister to cost about $300 to replace. Other owners had problems due to a loose gas cap and had to replace their gas cap to fix the problem. The Toyota Sienna was first introduced in 1998 and has had several re-releases that improved the minivan's overall quality and driving experience. Still, the vehicle suffers from some very major problems even today. Many issues have carried on from the old models to the newer ones, while also developing newer issues with each passing release. But it is still not a bad vehicle by any means. It suffers from problems that many other cars today are also experiencing. The Toyota Sienna is still a solid choice if you're looking for an affordable and reasonable minivan to seat many people at once. The electrical system, steering, and many other components of the Toyota Sienna are all defective. Are you aware that you can get free repairs for your car? To see if you qualify, visit Lemon Law Assist immediately or call us at 424-408-8060 for a free vehicle review. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked the video and we'll see each other again in the following video. Goodbye.